Voyager 1 is the farthest human-made object from Earth, traveling through deep space for almost 50 years. Launched in 1977, it still surprises us with new discoveries and the clever solutions from its team of engineers. Recently, Voyager 1 faced a major problem when a key set of thrusters, which help it stay pointed toward Earth to communicate, started failing. To solve this, engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, decided to switch to a backup set of thrusters that hadn't been used in years. In this video, we'll dive into the details of this thrilling maneuver, explore the science behind it, and understand why this is so significant for the future of space exploration. One of the most significant challenges facing Voyager 1 in its interstellar journey is the malfunction of its thrusters, which are essential for maintaining the spacecraft's orientation toward Earth. After nearly 47 years of operation, these thrusters began to malfunction due to clogging in the fuel lines, caused by a byproduct from the aging fuel tanks. This clogging threatened Voyager 1's ability to stay properly aligned, risking a loss of communication with Earth a critical concern since the spacecraft relies on its antenna to send data back home. Additionally, Voyager 1's nuclear power source has been gradually depleting over the decades, reducing the amount of power available for its systems. Because of this, engineers must carefully decide which systems to keep running to ensure the spacecraft remains operational. Recently, to conserve power, they turned off some of the heaters, which increases the risk of damage to critical components. Balancing power conservation with the need to protect vital systems adds significant complexity to managing the mission. The malfunctioning thrusters brought this challenge to a critical point. With limited power left, every command must be precise, and without working thrusters to keep its antenna pointed at Earth, Voyager 1 would be unable to phone home and transmit its scientific data. When the second set of attitude thrusters also began to fail in 2018, engineers had to switch to a backup set meant for trajectory correction. However, these thrusters also started clogging, leaving engineers with only one option, a dormant set of thrusters that hadn't been used in decades. The decision to switch back to an older set of thrusters was not without risk. These thrusters had been inactive for years and were extremely cold. Warming them up too quickly could cause severe damage. The team at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory approached the problem cautiously. After thorough analysis and planning, they decided to activate one of the spacecraft's heaters for just an hour to gradually warm the thrusters to a safe temperature. On August 27, 2024, their careful strategy succeeded. Voyager 1 reoriented itself towards Earth for the first time in six years, which allowed the spacecraft to continue its mission of sending back valuable data from the depths of space. The success of this operation is a testament to the skill and creativity of the JPL engineers, who must navigate the unique challenges of managing a spacecraft so far from Earth with such limited resources. This is not new to this team. Over the years, the JPL team has had to adapt to new challenges with the same level of precision and creativity. For instance, when a chip in the flight data subsystem, FDS, malfunctioned, likely due to cosmic radiation or simply aging hardware, engineers had to relocate the corrupted code to different memory locations and modify it to ensure compatibility. Given the limited memory and lack of modern testing tools, this was a complex task. The team had to carefully divide the code and update all references, demonstrating their exceptional ability to manage outdated systems in deep space. The thruster clogging issue has been a recurring issue for Voyager 1. It first became a problem in 2002 prompting the team to switch to a backup set of thrusters. By 2018, this backup set also started to show signs of failure. The engineer's ability to adapt by switching between systems and repurposing equipment not originally intended for certain tasks has been crucial in extending Voyager 1's mission well beyond its original expectations. 
As discussed, they recently addressed this issue once more, demonstrating their continued ingenuity in keeping the spacecraft operational. Voyager 1's journey has not been without other technical challenges. In 2022, the spacecraft began transmitting unintelligible data back to Earth due to a glitch in the Attitude and Articulation Control System, AACS. This system was mistakenly routing telemetry data to the wrong computer, causing confusion. With no ground-based simulators available, since much of Voyager's documentation remains in its original paper format, engineers had to carefully diagnose the problem using limited data. They implemented a low-risk solution, commanding the AACS to send data back to the correct computer, which successfully restored normal transmission. Power management has been another ongoing challenge. Voyager 1 relies on a nuclear power source that decays over time, resulting in a dwindling power supply. To conserve energy, engineers have had to shut down non-essential systems and even some heaters, which are occasionally turned back on to warm critical components and prevent damage from cold temperatures. This delicate balance of power management is crucial for keeping the spacecraft operational. Communication issues have also posed significant hurdles. Due to Voyager 1's vast distance from Earth, it takes about 22.5 hours for a signal to travel one way, making any troubleshooting efforts incredibly time-consuming. In 2023, the spacecraft faced a data transmission problem caused by a faulty chip in the flight data subsystem, which resulted in garbled data being sent back to Earth. Engineers resolved this by moving the software code to different parts of the memory, once again showcasing their innovative approach to managing the aging hardware. Looking ahead, NASA plans to keep Voyager 1 operational until at least 2027, coinciding with the mission's 50th anniversary. However, with its power supply dwindling and systems becoming increasingly vulnerable to failure, each additional year is considered a victory. Engineers are already focusing on essential systems to keep the spacecraft running, shutting down non-critical instruments to conserve power. This careful approach reflects the reality of managing such an old spacecraft in a hostile environment, where any new problem could be its last. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more content on space exploration and the incredible missions that push the boundaries of human knowledge. Stay curious, and we'll see you next time.